guys. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to refresh your hair if you haven't washed it for a couple days and it's a little icky. Or say you just washed it yesterday like me and you have something to go do and you need your hair to look nice. Um, this is definitely something that I recommend. I don't like to wash my hair like every single day. I just think it's not good for it. So um, the problem is with my hair, it's just really thin and it tends to just get greasy after one day. So to avoid washing it too much, I just like to um, retouch it with a little bit of dry shampoo and sometimes a little bit of volumizing powder depending what I'm gonna be doing that day. This is what I use. It is the Blow Pro. I got it from Ulta, I think it was like $20. Um, it works really well. I know it's a little pricey, it's a higher end product, but um, it does the job. And especially since like I'm brunette, <clears throat> I don't find that it leaves a nasty white residue in my hair. It's very fine and it kind of just, it really does absorb into your scalp. So with this product, you're not supposed to put it into your hands first. You're basically just supposed to apply it right onto your roots. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And what I do is I will separate and it's kind of squeeze the bottle. And if you saw that, a poof of powder just came out. So I'm going to go ahead and keep doing that and just separating the hair. I'm just going to apply it everywhere that I think I need it. I typically only apply it to like the sides of my head opposed to back here on my crown. I don't really ever find that I need it back there. Now what I'm going to do, you can still kind of see it on my roots and stuff. So I'm just going to take my fingers and... And especially if you're brunette, if you're blonde, you'd obviously don't have to go and be as thorough. Um, but if you're a brunette working with a hair powder that is not made for brunettes, you always want to just go through and definitely double work it so that you don't have any white splotchy things in your hair. Another really nice thing about this product is that I find it adds a lot of volume um, to my roots which I need because my hair is so thin and limp and sad. <laughs> so then I'm just going to go through with my hairbrush and I'm going to brush it through. Alright, so that's my hair refreshed just with the dry shampoo in it, nothing else. I just kind of worked it through my roots as I showed you guys and then brushed it out with my hairbrush and that is what it looks like. I'm just going to go through and retouch. I just want a few light curls. This is my one and a half inch curling iron. Alright, so the last step I'm going to do is, because I'm feeling like I want some big hair today, I'm going to take my volumizing powder. I got to be, I love this stuff. It's a little magic potion in a bottle. And I typically sprinkle about that much into my hands. Take it, do my palms, work it, rub together, and then just apply it right at the base of my scalp. And that will always, it just gives me a lot of extra lift and kind of oomph throughout the day. Lastly, I'm just going to go ahead and brush through it again to smooth it out. And 
And then finally, I'm just going to add a little bit of hairspray because I don't want my hair going anywhere. And I always kind of try to use a lighter hairspray with this. Especially if my hair is like second or third day hair because you don't really want anything else weighing it down. Alright guys, so that is how I retouch my second or third day hair depending um, if you don't want to wash it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And again, I just want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed and has shown all the positive support. It really means a lot to me that you guys will take the time out to check out my channel. I know there's a ton out there and everybody advertises and it's like YouTube has blown up. But um, thank you so much for following me and giving me the chance. If you guys are wondering about the giveaway that happened after I reached 200 subscribers, it did close and I did pick a winner. Um, it's all listed on the original giveaway video, so if you want to go check that out, I will link it down below. I will also link my Instagram down below. I think I'm going to be doing a giveaway on there pretty soon. I'm also working on getting my Twitter built up as well as my Facebook page. So once my channel gets a little bit bigger, um, I will definitely be doing that. Also, keep an eye out. There's going to be another giveaway posted. I think at 500 subscribers I'll be doing another giveaway. So keep your eye out for another one of those videos announcing it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!